guys, I was tagged by the wonderful Jesse Quinn at A Cup of Books to do the bookcase scavenger hunt tag, which was originally created by the Library of Sarah. <laughs> the drill, got a list of things I need to find, and I found them, and now I'm going to list them off. So let's get to it. The first challenge was to find a author with a V in their name. So I chose The Unidentified by Ray Merez. The, the next challenge was to find a classic, so I picked one of my new favorites, A Little Princess by Frances Hodgins Burnett. The next one is to find a book with a key on the cover, which was really super hard, but thankfully one of my brand new books that I got from my last haul has a key on it, right? Look at that, there's a key around her neck, which is awesome. This is Splintered by A.G. Howard. The next challenge is to find something on your bookcase that's not a book. Hey Candle, find the oldest book on your bookshelf. The Best Loved Poems of the American People was published in 1936. I also have a few books like this that are really old that don't have a date. The next one was super hard. Find a girl on the cover of a book. Song of the Sparrow by Lisa Ann Sandell. It has a girl facing away, but it's still a girl. Next one was to find a book with an animal in it. And I chose this land of stories by Chris Pulver, which has talking frogs, some wolves, a horse, and just lots of lots of animals. The next one was to find one with a male protagonist. So I went with Scott Pilgrim. Next one is to find a book with only words on it. And if you don't count stupid barcode, Love Story by Eric Siegel only has words on it. Next one is to find a book with illustrations, and I am a child at heart, so I have a lot of those, but I went with the Spiderwick Chronicles. There's an illustration. There's another illustration. There's pretty much an illustration on every page. Yeah, there, there is. The next challenge was to find a book with old lettering, so I picked my giant copy of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy which has a lot of gold lettering. Oh, so fancy. The next challenge was to find a diary, either real or fictional, and I went with fictional, with Struck by Lightning, the Carson Phillips journal, by Chris Pulver. Technically, it's a journal, but man, man, man. Next up, find a author with a common last name. I went with Woman Who Swallowed Her Cat by Rob Myers. Myers is kind of a common last name, and Rob is a common first name. Look at that! Next up was to find a book with a close-up on it, and I had a lot of these, but I narrowed it down to Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Gold. Look at that close-up. Look at those lips. Find a book on your shelf with the earliest time period. Now, this was hard for me because I haven't read a good majority of the books on my bookshelf, so I just guessed and went with some Shakespeare. I think that that's a, that's a safe bet, right? Yeah, a fellow. Find a hardcover book without a dust jacket. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling came without a dust jacket. This is just the book in its entirety. I also have The Looking Glass of Wars by Frank Fedor that I lost the dust jacket to, but I think it's much prettier now, yeah. Oh. Find a teal slash turquoise book. This is teal slash turquoise. Yeah, The Secret Life of C.C. Rook by Diane Chamberlain. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty, find a book with stars on it. Boom, Stardust, Neil Gaiman. Look at the stars. There's stars. Look at those. Last one is find a non-YA book. Whoa. Nope. Nope. There we go. Dean Koontz's Frankenstein series. This is just Rod Jules' son. Read that. Definitely not for children. <laughs> and that is the end of the tag. And I tag. I've never done this before. It's exciting. I tag. 
Kelly from Kelly Nicole One. And anyone else who hasn't done this, because it seems like everyone has done this tag because it's a very popular tag and etc. etc. And that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye! <laughs>